Joining, joining us is Associate Professor of National Security and Strategic Studies, Alex Simurayev. He joins me now live from Perth in Australia. Professor, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Uh, first, let me begin by asking you about the possibility of a nuclear confrontation between Russia and the West. What is your navigation through this? Look, I mean, the Russians have been using nuclear blackmail since before the invasion as, a, as, a, as a, some sort of a power shield in, in the interpretation that should restrain uh, the, the West interference in, in, in Ukraine's business or in, in Russia's business in Ukraine, to be more precise. And, and this, and this uh, obviously, blackmail hasn't gone away. Every, every time there is an escalation on the front line, the Russians up the stakes by the running nuclear drills or by making uh, implicit or like we, we, we're discussing right now, more explicit threats. Um, and, and constantly remind the West that Russia remains the nuclear superpower where it has the world's most advanced nuclear battlefield capability when it comes to the deployment of both tactical as well as strategic nuclear weapons. But I just want to make it quite clear. I don't think the Russians are actually contemplating the idea of operationalizing even tactical nuclear munitions on the battlefields of Ukraine. This is more about um, considering um, uh, nuclear options with regards to targets in Europe, in Western Europe, um, in Central, possibly Eastern Europe. Uh, and uh, so it's, it's, it's more about trying to still kind of communicate to, to the Western political military leadership about Russia's intent of trying to keep them at bay, even though, as we have seen, it hasn't really proven to be effective today. How seriously is the West taking these uh, warnings from Russia? Because remember, former President Dmitry's uh, statement is not the first one that Russia has made over the past uh, six to seven months when it comes to the use of nuclear weapons. Uh, with regards to the war in uh, Ukraine, we saw President Putin mentioning it uh, during his presser with President Xi Jinping. Then our correspondent from Moscow also told us that uh, Russia's representative to the United Nations also made uh, similar comments. Look, I mean, obviously, when you're going to reinstate the same threat time and time again and do nothing to, to follow it through, uh, people will stop really um, uh, taking it quite seriously. So the Russians haven't really done actual moves to, to contemplate it. The most serious was the suspension of their involvement in the START three Strategic Nuclear Arms Limitation Treaty and Putin's promise to resume nuclear testing should the United States resume nuclear testing. That's the most serious and, um, uh, and, and the most contemplated threat response with regards to nuclear, uh, nuclear domain that came from Moscow to date. If Russia would start, for example, moving around tactical nuclear munitions away from their arsenals towards the barracks of certain units, I think the West would start paying attention. If they will start bringing them on board their warships, uh, the West will start paying attention. Clearly, Putin is reluctant of going that far because he probably recognizes that uh, the West may not get really a, a, a nuclear fear, a nuclear scare, but will also up its ante by doing something similar in its own domain and then and then would effectively call uh, Putin's bluff. But sooner or later, if, if he will continue to play the nuclear card, he will have to open it up and show the goods. Other, otherwise, uh, uh, this, this last resort that he has in order to contain the conflict and, and stop the West from uh, getting involved militarily and, and openly challenging Russia may just fade away. Professor Alexey Murayev, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.